Hello, I'm out at Selbo with oldest friend. Hello. He's got a toy. I'm going to play with my uh, hover cam. I'm going to get the uh, the little hover cam in the air. Just going to have a little play about. I'm going to try this in dolly track at a, a distance. Far dolly track. Kind of doing it. So I'd say that's at a distance of about eight feet away. You can hear the drone up above, just there. Don't know what the footage is going to be like. Obviously, I'm going to show that. I've never tried this, so this is in dolly track mode at the moment. Meter's not fussed. Right, I'm going to stop that. It'll come back to me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. You get it up near the clear feed, dry roasted peanuts. Huh. I think that's a yes. And then turn the gimbal down. Yeah. That's epic. It's not bad, is it? No, not at all. Fair. Yeah, try back it with your I've just found out how to use this in manual mode, so I'm gonna uh, give that another go because I was actually really impressed with that. Bird custom hover. Right, so I'm just gonna put it in manual. <laughs> Right, let's send this up. Manual control. So there it is, I'm gonna press record. Right, so I'm gonna send it backwards. For some reason it stopped recording there. For some reason it's not wanting to record. Oh, it's because you're on uh, photo mode. Am I? Yeah. Does it say photo mode? It doesn't, but when you press that, what? Oh, there, yeah. Watch I'll the see. Screen. Yeah. It goes. Let me put it back into video mode. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Right, okay. School by error. Right, let's send it backwards a little bit. Send it up. Gimbal down. I quite like this. It's all right. I've only been. I've done a little experiment in uh, in Ainsley's flat with this. Move it to the right so it's on the track. Turn it a little bit. So yeah, it's it's not bad. The interesting thing about this is. Obviously you can do lower shots. How high up will the gimbal go? So the gimbal goes that far, so I can go. Oh, I've made it land. <laughs> I've made it land. Let's try that again, quick shot. I was going to film it in front of your uh, camera, in front of your drone. And then the zoom out. It's struggling in the wind a bit there. To be fair, it's not that bad. That's doing all right because it's balancing itself. If you look at mine, mine's struggling. Yeah, but it's not moving around as much as mine. But even so, even with the gimbal, it's not doing bad. No. I wanted to see how far, how low it would go before it actually, there. Yeah. As soon as you get too close to the ground, it thinks your hand's underneath it. Yeah. Manual control. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Ruhe, Mann. I'm just turning it round because we're walking away from it now. So I can actually now film going forwards and have this follow me. And it's doing it. It is struggling a little bit in the wind. You can see it's at a bit of an, a, a weird angle. Let's just bring it back over here. Turn right a bit. Come on, catch up. <laughs> I'm actually, I am really, really impressed with this. Really simple controls on here. So you've got left, right, backwards and uh, forwards, and then the camera angle and so on. And then you can control the gimbal here. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh, there's all this friend. Yeah, the interesting. Oh, oh, it's it's struggling. <laughs> it's struggling. I'm going to stop this now. I think because it is struggling a little bit in this wind. I mean, you can see the angle at that. That can't you? It's doing all right though. To say, yeah, okay. That's it for this little video. I just wanted to show you this in manual mode. I was just having a bit of a mess about. So from me and my mate here, thanks for watching. You know what to do if you like what I'm doing on this channel. Cheerio! Come on. <laughs>